the helmet, have a, have a light in case the lights go out inside, a full body harness, a slider for accessing the ladder fall arrest system. If that fails, I have twin lanyards in order to access on the ladder and a manyard for work positioning within the turbine. Have a look inside then. In order to stop the turbine, I need to switch it to local control inside the cabinet. The hand controller, and that's to get to the service code. You simply press stop in order to top the turbine. I mentioned the service code earlier on. That should now just stop the turbine. From the yaw section then, we go through this grate above us and into an cell. To improve the environment, we can open these two hatches in the cell doors. turbine and the heart of the business are these wind instruments that we can see at the back. We've got an anemometer, a wind vane and an ultrasonic instrument that does both. The computer uses this information to work out where the wind turbine has to point and the pitch angle so it can take the energy out of the wind and put it through this generator. So coming out of the hub, the main shaft input to the Winergy gearbox in front of me is at about 17 rpm. This converts it to about 1500 rpm and then this ABB generator here turns that into 2.3 megawatts at 690 volts. It feeds that down the tower, converts that to 33 kilovolts, and then out to our substation where it's turned into 132 kilovolts and put onto the national grid. <laughs> 